everyone and welcome back to another video and as you can see I have something very special before me now those of you who follow me on Twitter or Facebook will probably know what this is for those of you who don't well shame on you um, well this is a, a new uh, development oh let me show you something I've just bought by the way my new Commodore watch well when I say new quite old but I'll do a video on this uh, at a later date um, so what you see before you here is something that's just arrived from America and it is can you tell yet dun, dun, dun. let's have a little look then this is a, a brand new Amiga 2000 motherboard now actually it's um, the legend on here is Amiga B2000CR so it's based on the 1998 Amiga 2000 CR version and beautiful it is don't you agree I came across this in the Commodore Amiga Facebook group um, I had seen or heard mentions of it in dispatches before um, but I'd always wanted to do um, an original OCS ECS um, motherboard build let's say now probably what I would like to do more than anything is Amiga 500 build um, but the Amiga 500 uh, I haven't come across one yet so what is it well it has all the usual suspects the chipset is all here the ISA the Zorro ports the Buster chip um, and it's all good to go it is a complete copy of the original motherboard and um, well it's beautiful as you can see obviously the Zorro ports are all in place um, the full chipset is there well not there but you know what I mean it will be there once I solder all the bits in and um, it is a perfect replica of the B2000 motherboard without uh, the damage of the battery of course now I do have a few of these boards um, and uh, well probably I think two of them at least are dead so this will be a perfect donor or they will be a perfect donor rather to build up this rather splendid and spectacular motherboard like I say I bought this uh, from the Facebook group um, I'd like to tell you who I bought it from but I can't remember your name which is pretty terrible terrible anyway my apologies sir you know who you are um, but yeah this is a perfect working replica um, which I hope to populate and get running over the next few weeks so I'll be doing a step-by-step -step video if I get time this weekend I will probably do some work on it and uh, we'll take it from there now my plan is to probably populate what needs to be populated to get the machine up and running which in truth is not that much um, obviously the CPU, the 68000 the, um, the fat lady, the Angus um, the buster, well, actually I don't need the buster but I've probably got the sockets to do this uh, where are the sockets as a, as a matter of fact here we go so as you can see I have various CPU sockets I have RAM sockets don't know what they are, general, buster, whatever and um, general chipset sockets so these are standard dip sockets, high precision um, not the cheapo tack that Commodore used but these are good quality parts and I hope to populate this or at least start to populate it over the weekend so you should be seeing a video maybe on Sunday um, which will probably do a step-by-step -step guide of fitting this thing and building it up in the first place things I'm pointed to there are the usual things that kill these boards which of course the Varda battery now the Varda battery is um, it's just a time uh, a time killer for these machines and many other machines as well it will dissolve the motherboard around this area expand around the CPU the kickstart uh, the keyboard connector and the CPU accelerator port which will do an area sort of that size and it will it will just eat the motherboard through to the fiberglass if it's left long enough but a good 10 or 20 years in a shed will have the desired effect to kill the board dead. The boards I have have got damage all along the CPU, the kickstart and um, you know the usual suspects. So that will be or maybe one of them, maybe two, I don't know, probably one of them I'll be using as a donor for the accelerator port, the Zorro, the ISA, IBM ISA ports um, 
and possibly the connectors on the the IO connectors on the side as well. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how we get on. I have a couple of dead 500 plus motherboards as well, which could be worthy donors. But like I say, I might keep those for the Amiga 500 board. I don't know. Now the reason my hand is wafting in an uh, untimely manner is that my audio for this didn't work. So uh, I'm jibber jabbering away quite happily here with absolutely no audio whatsoever. So please forgive me for having to re-edit this with audio. Um, so that's about it really. Uh, I hope to be doing some streams this weekend. I will definitely do two if not three. Might even have a few beers and play a few games, have a bit of fun and I'll stream that. Um, but I will definitely be populating or starting to populate this board. Uh, one thing there I'm pointing at by the way is the power connector which I think is an AT type power connector. Does anyone actually know what that's called? On the Amiga 2000 it is one long solid connector. On the Amiga AT it's in two halves as if memory serves. So I'd like to get the proper connector for that rather than stealing it from, a, from an old board but if I have to, I will. Um, so that's about it. I'll say thank you very much. I'll say cheerio. And I hope to see you in a stream over the weekend. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.